Olivier Giroud nets four times to help the Blues win the group in style. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on yesterday's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the match that took place yesterday evening in the UEFA Champions League group stage at the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan Stadium between Sevilla and Chelsea, which Chelsea ended up winning by 4 goals to nil. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly, I'll be giving you guys the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match. I'll then be giving you guys my thoughts on the match itself. And as always, I'll be giving you guys the positives and the negatives in which I took from the match. And lastly, I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture, which will be taking place this Saturday at Stamford Bridge against Leeds United with kickoff at 8pm UK time. And there will be fans in the stadium for that game. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this review. So kicking things off with the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match against Sevilla, and as always, starting off with the formation he chose. It turns out that he chose a 4-3-3 and not a 4-2-3-1, however it was quite difficult to tell what system he was using because at times it did look as though we were playing in a 4-2-3-1 and at times in yesterday's match it looked as though we were playing in a 4-3-3 so it was quite difficult to tell. Maybe he was using the hybrid that I used to talk about quite frequently on this channel but anyways in terms of the personnel Frank Lampard chose to start yesterday's match. Um, he went with Edouard Mendy in goal. He went with a back four from right to left of Cesar Azpilicueta, Andres Christensen, Antonio Rudiger and Emerson Palmieri. He went with a midfield three of Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic and Kai Havertz. And he went with a front three from right to left of Callum Hudson-Odoi, Olivier Giroud and Christian Pulisic. So that is the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match against Sevilla. Now for my thoughts on the match itself, and as always, starting off with the first half. Guys, we made an absolutely fantastic start to the match. We came out of the blocks very quickly, and we did create some good chances in the first few minutes. The best chance in which we did create um, came through Christian Pulisic after some great play from Cesar Aspilicueta and Callum hudson Doy down on our right-hand side. Christian Pulisic got the ball in the box but he could only drag his shot wide of the post, which was very unlucky. Yes, you can argue that he should have done better, but I'm not going to put too much pressure on him for missing because he's only just come back um, to the team after being out for ages. But yes, it was a glorious chance for him. And later on in the first half, he did have a couple of um, good chances as well. Um, but I'll get onto that in a second. I'll, I'm, I'm going to get into the goal, the first goal, of course, which he scored. This was an absolutely fantastic goal. Um, Kai Havertz gets the ball in the middle of the park. He drives straight through their midfield. There was a gaping hole in their midfield, but he just exploited it brilliantly. He saw Olivier Giroud in space in the right-hand side of the box, and he passed it towards him. Olivier Giroud took a touch, got it onto his left foot, and fired a beauty into the top left corner, giving their goalkeeper absolutely no chance of saving it. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but yes, it was a great goal and we could have scored more. Guys, we could have scored more. Christian Pulisic did have a, a, another chance to put the ball into the back of the net after getting the ball down our left-hand side, which is where he was, he was stationed at the start of the match, or due to be stationed, shall I say. But yes, he, he cut in with the ball and tried to cut the ball into the top corner, but it did take a deflection off of one of their players. And it was a good try from him, but he had some good chances against um, Sevilla in the first half yesterday. Um, and it's a shame that he didn't take them, but um, this is part of him getting back into full match fitness. So like I said already, I'm not going to criticise him too heavily because he's only just been introduced um, into the team again after being out for ages with a muscle injury. But yes, we had some great chances. Um, 
Callum Hudson Odoi, I thought, had a decent first half overall. He was causing their backline all sorts of problems. I thought we were defending really well, I have to say, guys. After the goal, Sevilla were putting us under a lot of pressure and we were having to do a lot of defending. They did get quite a few set pieces as well, but we held our own and got rid of the ball as soon as we could. Um, but overall, guys, good first half performance for me and we definitely went into half time with a deserved lead because I thought we were the better team overall. But now for my thoughts on the second half, guys, same story. We made a great start to the second half. We put lots of pressure on their back line. We had some good chances as well. Um, I think Kai Havertz had a shot um, which was blocked. I can't remember when that was, but he did have a shot in the second half which was blocked. Um, Matera Kovacic did have a shot from outside the box. I believe that was also blocked. But we did have some good chances to put the ball into the back of the net in the early stages of the second half. And the second goal, this was this was just some great piece. Um, this, I can't even speak. This was just some great play from Matteo Kovacic and um, Olivier Giroud and the other in, and the other midfielders involved in the build up. But yes, it was Matteo Kovacic who delivered the final pass towards Olivier Giroud, and it was a great pass, a defense splitting pass. Um, Olivier Giroud still had a lot to do, and I did say this in my re in my reaction video. He got the ball, um, went closer to the goal, and waited for the keeper to to fall to the ground and he just dinks it over him with his weaker right foot and that made it 2-0 and the third goal this was just sublime from N'Golo Kante and Olivier Giroud of course who scored it but yes N'Golo Kante came on I can't remember who it was for but he came on the pitch and he got the ball down our right hand side and he just drove with the ball and put in an absolute gem of a cross for Olivier Giroud to put his for Olivier Giroud to get his head on and he did so very well. The keeper had absolutely no chance of saving it. It was a beautiful header, a sexy header from Olivier Giroud. Um, and an absolute peach of a cross from N'Golo Kante. Um, you don't normally see that from him. Maybe maybe I'm not looking at his crossing ability enough, but that was a gem of a cross from N'Golo Kante, I have to say, guys. Um, great substitution from Frank Lampard as well. And all the other substitutions that came on in that that um, were made in the second half were very good as well, I have to say. I can't remember who came on now. Um, I can't remember what the substitu substitutions were now, but they were good substitutions. Um, but yes, yeah, a great goal, a great hat-trick for um, Olivier Giroud, and a perfect hat-trick a perfect hat -trick as well. Um, but yes, yeah, a great goal. And then the fourth goal was scored in the dying minutes of the game. It came from the penalty spot, definite penalty. I don't know what the severe defender was doing. I think it was Diego Carlos, I can't remember now, but I don't know what the defender was doing. They just pulled him down and, like I said already, definite penalty. Giroud himself took it. I thought Jorginho was going to take it because he's normally our penalty taker um, when Timo Werner's not on the pitch, I think it is. But it was a great penalty from Olivier Giroud. He stuck it into the top right corner with his dominant left foot. Again, giving the keeper absolutely no chance. And the keeper actually dived the wrong way. But yes, a fantastic goal. And overall, we were by far the better team. And thoroughly deserved the win. But in terms of the positives and the negatives... Sorry, in terms of the positives and the negatives in which I took from yesterday's match... Um, there's a bit of a twist on this one. I've taken no negatives from yesterday's match. There are three positives in which I took from yesterday's match. And the first one is that the player rotation in which Frank Lampard um, made or or, or uh, allowed to happen um, paid off. The player rotation paid off, um, to put it simply. Um, it paid off. It was great. Everyone who came in played well, in my opinion. Um, yes, some less so than others, but everyone played well in my opinion. In my opinion, yesterday, um, I don't think anyone had a particularly bad game. But um, yes, guys, the player rotation really did really did pay off, and we could see some of the players that um, don't normally get too much game time and played yesterday get some game time on Saturday against Leeds United, and that gives Frank Lampard a good headache to have. Um, but yeah, that is the first positive in which I took from yesterday's match. The second positive in which I took from yesterday's match is the fact that we were by far the better team and had control of large parts of the game. Do I really need to elaborate on this one? We won 4-0 for God's sake. I mean, we played them off the park in my opinion. We had loads of chances. 
yes, there were stages in the game where they put us under a lot of pressure and we did give the ball away quite cheaply. Um, but honestly, guys, we, we, were, we were quite simply the better team. And how fitting is it that our first visit to the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan Stadium, I'm not going to pronounce it again because my throat's hurting, is a win against a top European side. My goodness, it was a great win. But honestly, guys, we were by far the better team yesterday. There's no, we were by far the better team yesterday, and there's no denying that. Um, that's the second positive in which I took from yesterday's match, and the third and final positive in which I took from yesterday's match is that is the fact that it's another clean sheet for Edouard Mendy. And the reason why I've listed this as one of the positives in which I took from yesterday's match is because the back four that played yesterday was. A completely different back four to the back four that played that played against um, Tottenham Hotspur and in most of our games this season so far. So um, you have to give credit to the defenders as well. I thought they did a fantastic job. Um, I thought our best defender was probably Antonio Rudiger. He had a solid game um, for, for, for someone who doesn't play very often just now or hasn't played often just now or isn't playing often just now, shall I say, to be correct or precise. But honestly, guys... It's great that we're able to keep so many clean sheets. Hopefully that continues. Yes, it's going to be very difficult to um, keep this going. But we have been defending really well in our recent games. But yes, those are the positives in which I took from yesterday's match. And that is it for my thoughts on our 4-0 win against Sevilla in the UEFA Champions League group stage. Please do let me know what your thoughts on the match are in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I will do my very best to respond. Now to conclude this review, I am going to give you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture which will be taking place this Saturday at Stamford Bridge against Leeds United with kickoff at 8pm UK time. Honestly guys, this is a big game for us because Leeds United are a good team. We do have a bit of history with Leeds United, um, we don't really like each other, um, I don't particularly like Leeds United to be honest. Um, they do have some great players in their team and they have a fantastic manager in Marcelo Bielsa. Yes, there are going to be fans in the stadium, so that could help us. That could be a factor um, for us to consider. Who knows? But I do think that we can get the job done against this Leeds United team. Do not get me wrong. This is not going to be an easy game because Leeds United have picked up some good results against some of the top teams or some of the um, better teams in the league, shall I say. Um, they did get a positive result against an Everton side that have been um, pretty good this season so far and have been pretty good under a fantastic coach in Carlo Ancelotti, might I add. And they um, they got the, they got a draw that they really should have. Um, they got the, they got a draw against Arsenal, but honestly, guys, that really should have been a win, is what I'm trying to say. So we have to take them seriously. Um, we cannot go into this game. Um, with a complacent mindset because that that could see us um, get beaten and possibly embarrassed because this Leeds United team are very capable of doing so but yes yes, guys we can get the job done and if you think about it if we can beat Sevilla then we can definitely beat Leeds but maybe that's just logic talking that's not how football works but honestly guys I am looking forward to this game I haven't seen us play against Leeds United in a very long while. In fact, the last time we played against Leeds United was in 2012 where we beat them at Elland Road by five goals to one. But yes, guys, this is going to be a good game. I'm certainly looking forward to it, like I've just said. But anyways, that is it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on, you blues. Come on, Frank Lampard. And peace.